Hi viewers, today is Monday the 31st of January and uh, one of the big questions we always get on the channel is uh, cyclones. So uh, we've got a cyclone approaching at the moment, it's not a very big one, but it's still a cyclone. So I'm going to just take you through the process of what we do, how we prepare and uh, it's in the coming days before cyclone. So today's Monday, we're looking at getting close to the island on a Wednesday. So I'll take you through a step-by-step -step process from now until Wednesday and show you how the conditions deteriorate. And um, yeah, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Please subscribe and like the channel. And yeah, let's take you through cyclone season. Always starts in February, January, February, when the sea heats up. So the sea is currently seeing at about 28 degrees. Um, in December, we had some days where it was up 29, even close to 30. So the hotter the sea conditions, the more likelihood there are of cyclones because the cyclones energize off that hot water. And um, the bad thing for cyclones is wind shear. So when they have a cross winds, that breaks them down. So when there's no wind and there's hot seas, very likely conditions for big cyclones. So um, I've lived here now 17 years. I've been through uh, one fairly big cyclone and one very small cyclone. Um, nothing massive to report. We did have serious flooding. Uh, we run our, uh, our boat yard and our boat yard got flooded. And we, after that, we had to actually raise our boat yard by two meters in height so that we don't get flooded again. So I'll take you through all the, the action that happens three days before a cyclone and what you need to do and prepare. So here we go. Okay, guys, so step one is get information. So where do we get information? Well, that's the question. So I'm going to take you onto my screen here and you can have a look. These are the sites that I follow. Um, I find them the most reliable and to get the best kind of information. So let's have a look here. So first site that I look at is called windy.com. So windy.com, um, it's the one live tracking motion that I showed you. You can go down to the bottom here. You can push play and it'll show you, you can move the, the wind token here. It'll show you the different kind of wind speeds that are coming. Um, and then you can track it day by day on the bottom down here. You can see Tuesday moving into Wednesday, Thursday and you can track the, the cyclone from there. So windy.com is the first site that I look at. I also have the application on my phone. So my next next uh, thing I look at is the Mauritius Met, Met service. Um, this will take you and you can go to current cyclones, so uh, current storms. It will tell you there's Batsarai, the current one, 750 kilometers from Mauritius. Uh, distance it shows you the tracking and the nice thing this will tell us what uh, is currently there's no cyclone warning in force um, and it'll tell you that uh, when things are coming into different warnings and then what you have to do during the different warnings so we go here current warning in Mauritius you can click in English it'll tell you that cyclone warning class one is in force in Mauritius that's been that's just been updated now 10 30 this morning so we are in the first stages of cyclone warning one okay um, next, we go down into your warning system and general information. It'll tell you what that means. Issued 36 hours to 48 hours before it's likely to affect the area. Class 2 issued in uh, 12 hours before daylight, 120 kilometers. We just had guys hooting and tooting outside our boat yard here. All the guys are bringing their boats out the water. Cyclone warning 2 after if you're on the roads during cyclone warning 2 and cyclone warning 3, your insurance is no longer valid on your vehicle or your boat. So guys have to remove their boats out of the water and into the marinas when it gets to the stage. Cyclone warning 3 is issued 6 hours before the, the cyclone hits. Cyclone warning 4 is issued when you're going to have a, over 120 kilometer gusts of, uh, of wind um, and then after one cyclone, the cyclone has moved past, they drop all warning systems. Okay, we go into the next year, general information, precautions. Let's go into precautions. So this is what they say, before the cyclone, what are you going to do? You're going to get organized, that's part two, is getting organized. So getting organized is getting uh, your communications in, into place. Making sure you have torch with batteries, candles, uh, etc. Buying water, make sure you've got water supply, canned foods. Uh, usually this only lasts for two days, so you don't have to go buy, panic buying and buy out the whole shops. Um, it says your rice flour biscuits, a medical aid kit if you have a basic medical aid kit. Um, during cyclone warning uh, three, once the, it really hits hard, you may need to make sure all your shutters in the house are, are, are closed. 
any pot plants or any loose things. So that's what causes the most damage during a cyclone is anything loose lying around um, that can fly and take flight. Um, so anything loose, pack it away, pack it inside, put the umbrellas down, put deck chairs inside the house and then batten up the hatches. Okay. Store loose articles during cyclone warning class four. That's when it hits the gusts of over 120 kilometers per hour. Stay inside, she seek shelter, the safest party house, disconnect electrical appliances, listen listen to bulletins on the radio or TV. Um, and if your house starts suffering damage, protect yourself. So stay in, in window frames, stay, wrap yourself in a blanket or get under the bed mattresses um, until the cyclone has passed. So that's uh, MET services. The next one I also look at is uh, Metro France, also very um, very technical site showing at the prediction of what's happening. So that's where Reunion falls in there under France. So it's another site you can look at. And one of the YouTube channels I follow a lot is Force 13. Um, this is a YouTube channel of really nerdy scientist guys that follow this and this is their game. They absolutely love following hurricanes and cyclones. So it's called Force 13 and it's spelled Force and the number 13. So you can follow them on YouTube and they'll give uh, updates every two, three hours. Most of the guys are sitting in America. So that's where we get our information from. Okay, so step three, the cyclone's passed now. Now what? Now you're going to have branches and leaves and a mess around your house. So get outside, get some fresh air, check your roof out. Make sure everything's fine and start tidying up uh, and help neighbors, guys. So get out there and help people. Um, if you've got older people living next door to you or friends that uh, need help, get out there and help them. Uh, get the place tidy up. The government gets onto the streets very quickly, puts up uh, any telephone poles that have fallen over, or electric poles. Um, so just be a good neighbor, be a good person, get out there and help each other. And um, yeah, so that's the tidy up is, is the last phase. And I'm going to take you through now the current cyclone and the conditions at the end of this movie. Ciao. Okay, so guys, we start the recording from today, Monday, 12 o'clock, and you can see how the storm is gathering speed and it's starting to head towards Mauritius, but it looks like it's going to be missing the top north of the country. So it's about 855 kilometers away from Mauritius as of today. You can see it moving down getting closer. They reckon when it gets closer by tomorrow, it's going to go from a category two to a category four storm. Um, it misses the tip of Mauritius there. The north and east take a little bit of a hiding. It moves towards a reunion. Reunion will be under a little bit of pressure, big rains. And then as you can see, as we start heading towards Thursday, we're in Thursday now, starts moving closer towards Madagascar. That's Thursday, Friday morning, early closer to Madagascar. I think reunion will still be getting quite a lot of rain. And then by Saturday, it's going to start hitting the coast of Madagascar. So that's probably a direct hit, uh, which is quite hectic for guys living on the coastal areas there. That's going to be experiencing big winds. The winds are probably going to be in the region. Oh, let's see there. 53 knots, which is quite a lot of wind. Um, so severe damage to the, the east, southeast coast of Madagascar. So um, to give you an idea on the cyclone starts dissipating again Monday, starts breaking down, going into the Mozambique Channel. Um, it's, the water temperatures currently are going to be sitting at 29 degrees. So that's perfect conditions for a cyclone to grow and get big. Um, and like I said, Madagascar at most risk. The, the cyclone is currently moving at about 15, 15 kilometers per hour. And wind speeds currently 177 kilometers per hour, um, but going to be going up. That's category two and can get anywhere up to uh, 250 kilometers per hour when it hits category four. Category five is the biggest size cyclone that you can get, um, but we hopefully are not going to reach those, those sizes. So that's it from our side. Morning viewers, so today is Tuesday morning and um, it's a public holiday in Mauritius, so it's abolishment of slavery day um, and we've been moved, moved up to category 2 or uh, cyclone level 2 which means that uh, the cyclone will be approaching Mauritius in the next 12 hours. Um, so when we get to category 3 that means we're not allowed to drive on the road and you need to batten down the hatches indoors. So I'm going to just drive around and, and give you a quick view of what's happening around in the neighborhood. Uh, like I said, it's a public holiday, but let's see how guys are preparing. We've got neighbors 
taking down their roller their roller blinds we've got guys packing pot plants away and this is the the hop before the storm comes ciao hey guys so as you can see the bay is still got a few boats in it uh, a lot of the big catamarans have moved already um, a few more boats over there so we'll come back in a day or so all these boats should be out the water by tomorrow uh, when they hit category two So next step, we've got to go check on the boat in the marina. We're going to do some extra tie downs, so a few extra ropes just to make sure the boats are good in the marina. Um, big boats out, little boats still in the marina. So um, yeah, let's go do it. Okay, so everybody's removing their boats. Um, our big boats out already there on the skiff on the hard. Everyone's down here making sure boats getting pulled out the water. You can see it's raining a bit. Um, let's head up the. Marina way, yeah. Uh, see what's happening here. Uh. Okay, so some of the boats have been double, double locked next to each other. Not a lot of changes. You can see all those little boats that were, were sitting over there a day ago have all been moved into better places, so they're safer. Just need to head down here. As our little boat over here, we need to just go check that the tie downs and it's tied down properly and, and make sure that everything's right. Okay, so we're coming down to the jetty. Uh, you can see we've got single tie downs. You'll see that what the other guys have done. All boats are double tied up, so you can see the amount of ropes. This is triple tied up. So that's what we need to do to our little boat here. So it's gonna sit, put the camera down and set that up. Okay, all done, double ropes on. Double ropes on, getting wet in the rain here. Let's head. Okay, job done. Uh, boat secured. Need to get home now. Our boat yard, we've taken down all the signage and all the, the shade cloth and that around the yard. So that's secure. Picked up anything that's loose that's lying around. Now I'm heading home to go sort out the house. Cheers, guys. There's still signboards up. Um, usually, when it's a bigger cyclone, you'll see most of the companies come and take these signboards down. Um, so, yeah, let's see how they handle, depending on what the wind speeds are. See now, lots of the signboards have been removed. Um, here's one of the big ones, yeah. It's still up, but the one behind it's been removed. So, a lot of uh, companies are removing the signboards. Okay, so we're down in the main bay uh, where all the boats are kept, and as you can see, not a single boat in the bay. All the boats have been removed for the cyclone. Um, well, there's one boat over there, one or two boats there, a little pirog and a thing. So, it's cyclone warning two. On Cyclone Warning 2, uh, insurance cover doesn't cover your boat if it's left out in the open. Uh, so you've had about 100 boats that have already been removed. There's Le Mans in the background over there. And you can see the weather starting to go a little bit shady. Okay, so one of the bonuses of Cyclones is uh, waves. So as you can see up there on the wave, there's quite a few surfers on the wave at the moment. Beginners on the little wave, yeah. And a bit of action on the beach. The weather's not looking great, but um, yeah, there's waves, so people are out surfing. Oh, there we go. Beginners over here, and then all the top guns out there on the main wave. You can see that. Okay, so let's have a look what the garden's looking like after all this wind. Um, let's have a look here. Banana trees didn't uh, really didn't do well. You can see my driveway.
Okay, Thursday morning, cyclone uh, warning all totally lifted, but the wind is still absolutely pumping here. You can see our garden's covered in leaves. Um, I'll show you the front lawn and see what it looks like. Let's get on the road. Garden trees everywhere. Okay, let's head out. Had to get up early this morning and take care of two big branches that had fallen over our wall. Let's have a look here. Have a look here. Conditions aren't looking great before. Trees laying everywhere. Yeah, that's it. We're jumping into the car. I'm going to give you a show around to see uh, what's happened in the neighborhood. Uh, you can see on my window here. Um, leaves stuck to the, the windows here. So even the, all the trees have been stripped and there's leaves everywhere. So let's, let's go get onto the road and show you what's happened around the neighborhood. Ciao. It's going, it's just trees that have fallen over. It's the main the main thing that's happened in the, in the neighborhood is trees lying everywhere. Big winds, so we had massive winds last night. Signboard, the sign's gone. To the office, one of our fences has been blown over. And the big signboard on our land is also See the, the power of the window, you can see the size of this metal structure that's gone down. It's actually been buckled. The whole So one of the cool things, um, the goats that live in Tamarin, as you can see here, yeah, they're getting free leaves. Okay guys, so that's the end of Cyclone Batsarai. We're busy doing the cleanup. The wind seems to have calmed down now this morning. It's moving on towards Reunion. Um, and we wish all the people in Madagascar best wishes because it looks like it's going to have a direct land impact. Um, this is the destruction and, the, and all the mess it made. And, and this cyclone was 110 kilometers away from Mauritius. So it didn't even make a direct hit. So that's something you never to take lightly. Nobody wants cyclones. Cyclones are on fun. Um, they just break and destroy and uh, cause devastation and loss. And people that are more or less fortunate in, in, in properties that aren't well waterproofed and windproofed, um, they really suffer. So yeah, that's the end of Batsara. We, we're happy to see the end of it. Goodbye, Batsara. That's a day or three days in the life of living a cyclone in Mauritius and that's just to give you guys an idea of what we do go through in a tropical island and the situations that, that you have beauty on a tropical island but you also have these tropical storms that come through and can cause chaos. So guys that's it, that's it from us, um, we'll see you again next week Friday, please if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, any comments, put them in below, I'm very good at coming back to our clients and people asking questions. And we'll see you next Friday. Ciao, guys.